Okay, everybody, it's Christina Blackfeather here. Let me try and set my phone up. And I know some things are probably going to be backwards, and I can't help it. That's just the way this thing makes to do it. As I've said before, I don't have a dedicated camera. So, oh, doggone it. And then the little rope. Okay, are we still there? All right. I don't know what that was. I must have bumped the on up and make sure I got enough light in here for when the color changes. Now I'm supposed to be doing another bottle, but I have to get some glue remover. I'm so thrilled because they put three giant labels on the bottle. Here we go. Let's make sure I got sound. Do I have sound? Hey, Ro. Do I have sound? Yes. Here we go. Now, is it going to let me edit? All right. I'm trying to figure out how I get my PayPal me thing set up here. All right. Just enter things in quick. All right, and now I have to quickly find, uh, I'm not mentally fully awake yet. I should have had coffee before I started this. Now I've got to find the link to Jade. And happy birthday to my son Michael, who is probably still driving right now, I'm sure. But if he's watching this later, then uh, happy birthday, 19 years old today. Boy, this laptop is slower than molasses in January. Now, what we've got on Jade's GoFundMe right now is $1,460. Which someone shared a really big amount. But uh, it still, you know, isn't the total expenses needed. So let's do this. Art painting. I'm still not exactly streaming yet, so I'm just gonna get this done. Uh, all right. Save changes. And okay, it says we're still live on the laptop. Oh, it allowed me to edit while I was going. That's cool.
All right. There. All right. So I have really no humongous idea what I'm doing here. Uh, one of the things I wanted to work on again, besides seeing where I get on Jade's rock today, is to figure out how I'm going to do the rest of this bottle because I got told one set of colors and something didn't quite communicate right and I have wrong colors on here. Going to see if I can correct this without having to scrape everything off. The likelihood is I'm gonna have to scrape everything off with a razor blade, but we'll see. At least I can buy these colors in single use here. Oh, come on, paint. There we go. Again, using the Deco Art Americana Gloss Enamels, which fire in the oven. If I can't really fix this, then um, I don't know. I'll they'll have an extra bottle probably for bride's mother, something like that. They did get me three other bottles, but I, like I said, I don't have adhesive remover. And for some reason, you know, when you have a clear glass olive oil bottle, and you have places like Home Goods and stuff that turn around and decide that they have to put humongous labels on the faces of these bottles and so the bottle the same size has a label like this on one side and the other and then on the bottom and it's like you can't just put it on the bottom it has to be all over and the one is so huge and I can't even lift the edge of the label on it it's just frustrating so and I'm supposed to get these done by August and at this point I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that because it's uh, I might be able to fix this I'm supposed to what he doesn't understand though is that some of this has to have shadow to be able to differentiate between the leaves and the petals. So, I don't know if I can do this. having the base coat of the purple underneath isn't that bad. So we'll see. It's just having to change the whole schematic here is kind of. This is, this is my frustration right now. I'm going to end up scraping all of this off. Oh, there goes my daughter's virus on the laptop again. Hurry, you can make 100% profit in a week. 
go away. We don't want your stupid fake stuff. I'm just finding out I'm not the most talkative person right now. I have a hard time when my kids leave. Unfortunately. Okay, this actually might work a little better. This is starting to starting to do it. Sorry, looking at the had to look in that light a little bit differently there. I did try to live stream life in the woods and my computer cannot keep the mic running at the same time that life in the woods is running. Can do it recording but not live streaming so that isn't live streams of that aren't going to be happening That's a little better. Worst part about commissions is when it's kind of an open commission and you've got somebody that wants something specific and then they change their minds. And unfortunately, that happens a lot. And I had one guy that had wanted a bracelet done and uh, so I still, you know, before I could do any leather work, um, had to get the design issues hammered out. 
and um, so girl wife's name and everything in the bracelet and you know the leather leather designs and so I I had to make some modifications to what he wanted in order for it to show up on the leather and you know not end up muddy when it's tooled and so I spent um, just getting the base work hammered out I spent a good probably two weeks doing different illustrations and drawings and stuff and uh, got a pattern ready to tool ready to go and then he never contacted me again and he had said that he had tried to get other people to work with and that they would stop working with him well um yeah i could see why because he ran me through the ringer pretty much making me go through a whole ton of work and then something came up and then I just never heard from him. And that's happened a couple of times. I've been able to produce pieces from that that I know are going to sell at some point to somebody. But it's just really frustrating because when you're doing the prep work, it's really hard to, to um, figure out where you draw the line and say, okay, I need to get money because I have done this far on the piece or I've had to do this much work and really preparatory work, it shouldn't count as actually doing the piece itself. You know, if somebody's trying to hammer out ideas with you, that's one thing, but um, to just sit there and run, you know, kind of run an artist ragged and then all of a sudden just stop talking to them is kind of ridiculous. But it does happen. Well, part of the reason I have to cover up the purple here is because these people are not into Minnesota Vikings and the color reminded the family too much of Minnesota Vikings even though they had told me to go with white to begin with or purple and pink and white but I think I think I got this kind of corrected Get the brush kind of loaded up Hard part is not trying to get it to all turn into a mud bath here. It's working. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it. I think I got it. Yeah. I can probably layer a little bit more white over the, the ends here. That actually corrected. That doesn't look too bad. So I might be able to recover this. Especially when I add the green in here and stuff, this should work out. It's a lonely day on the internet. Nobody to talk to. I 
apples will be a little different once I get doing some of my uh, doll uh, face-ups and stuff. What I plan on doing is an old Wonder Woman doll I have that I used to play with. the best light in this room. But this will work. I'll get it. Alright. Switch over to the next one. There we go. It did need another layer anyway, so really this base coat isn't a bad idea. So, it's working out. Let me try and change the camera angle just a little bit. actually have the phone being held down with the tripod wrapped around um, a uh, plate stand, a wire plate stand, and the wire plate stand is held in place by a uh, Funko Pop of Daenerys on Drogo. It's use, using, uh, being a weight to counterbalance the phone because <laughs> this is an iPhone 8 Plus, so it's kind of big. So kind of funny. color. See, normally I shade things with blues and grays on white stuff. So doing the fuchsia is kind of odd.
At least it isn't red. We end up looking like a bunch of blood. There's still no hiding that purple in there. Not that much. Back to the right. Hard part is with this paint is using using the texture of the paint to actually make the petals. Throw some boy, this light is just not good on this camera. Really sorry about that. I'm almost tempted to put like an art light in the overhead. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be better once the once I get the uh Green's done on here. Coffee. Oh, I might have made that a little strong. doing the cold brew coffee and uh, I think it's pretty strong This is looking better. Here we go. That's looking a little better. This week I'm going to try and get into Great Debate Gaming on one of their streams. Um, otherwise I think if I want to live stream again I should revitalize Ultima Online, or Ultima 7, pardon me. I always call it Ultima Online. Played that game for so many years. After I get these petals done with the whites and this dries, I'm going to be taking um, some of the pink 
and just doing the line work on some of the petals. It's really thin line work and that might help fix this up a little bit more. And also get rid of some of the purple. Some of the purple's got to be there a little bit for shading, but he showed an all-white flower, and it's like, oh, dear. I think the person might have had a little bit of a filter, so it was kind of, like, really, really white. I'm be so happy when all of this is baked. <laughs> Meow? What, Mo? Why are you sound so sick? Because Mommy's taking over the whole desk and won't let Kitty on the desk to play. That's why. Oh, I got everything out of the way. Mina, please move. No, oh, not on me. Oh. Uh. Troy. Oh, there she left. Oh. I rescued it. Woohoo! That was the highlight of the live stream since nobody's watching. Didn't think she was going to leave the desk.
Oh dear God, I didn't think. Yeah, this is the one with the metallics in it. This still might not end up working. As in, they might not be happy with it, and I'll be starting over anyway. But the only pink they have for this paint is metallics. That's all I've got. I'm using just an extremely light touch just to lay the paint down. This brush is very loaded with paint just to get that effect. Okay. One more. I can at least say I can get this done. Close the laptop. There. Got it out of screensaver before it would lock into it, and then I'd have to hit the power button. Another one, I'm, another bottle I'm going to end up doing for these guys, which is not related to the wedding, is 
Bride's mom wants some irises on a bottle. And they're ones that change up everything seasonally and like a massive Christmas house and everything. It's just gorgeous decorations. So spring gets its own themes and so it, they won't be packed away in a box. Trying to do the same thing here with my uh, my husband and I collect uh, vintage and antique glass, carnival glass, um, uh, Vaseline glass, things like that. And so uh, we're trying to do the same thing where it's now that the kids are moved out and we're getting things organized, we're trying to. Um, get uh, seasonal colors out. Oh, that's the neighbor's car. Couldn't figure out what was going through my rose bushes out there. Oh, it's the neighbor's car behind the rose bushes, you know, as I'm seeing it through the green leaves. starting to pop. I think I got it. And again, I'm just kind of waggling the brush a little bit just to get textural difference. Some of these are already fuchsia, so I'm trying to make sure I don't cover up all the color that should be there. Since it's the purple, that's the issue. Let's get some of this in here. Okay. 
Get that kind of loose feeling in there. I'm still going to have to put a lot more white in here to take care of this metallic or the glittery part in this. I do wish they'd have come up with a fuchsia that didn't have glitter in it. This is their one they call Razzleberry. I mean, it still is pretty, but. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Thank you, gardener. Disgruntled gardener's here. Heavy haulers here. Um, this is the, uh, yeah, the cat was, yeah, Oscar's over there taking a bath. I had Mina on the desk earlier. This is the Deco Art Americana Gloss Enamels, the one that fires in the oven. So that's what I'm working on. And um, I initially had been told one color of paint. And um, so I went with that color and then realized when I showed photos after I had the flowers all in purple that uh, no, they were supposed to be white and pink uh yeah they go the glassware will go in a cold oven and you bring up with this brand of paint you bring up the temperature to 325 while the glass is in the oven and you know in a cold oven in the kitchen and then um you just let it sit in there at 325 for 30 minutes and then shut all the heat off and let the oven and the glassware cool all the way down before you take it out. And it actually uh, permanently bonds the paint to the glass. So it's really nice. This has become one of my favorite products. And I was going to start this over on another bottle, but the problem I ran into is that they put these big labels on the bottles and pretty much I swear they had to must have used super glue or something so I have to get adhesive remover to get them off otherwise I would have just started this one over and I have to have these done by August and I'm just a little perturbed <laughs> And kind of a little down because my kid is, uh, he left today after being home for a couple of days. And um, he's 19 today, but it's like I always get kind of down when, when uh, my kids leave. Yeah, my littlest, 19 years old, 6'4". <laughs> He's a tall drink of water. They're going to have a little bit of purple down here on the bottom, but oh well. And I, I think the flowers will probably look better once I get the greens involved here. It might be that I'm just overly disgusted with myself right now. And disgusted with the glue that won't come off the other bottles. <laughs> like, what do you do? <laughs> now the trick is going to be... Yeah, they did come out... I have to hold them away for a minute. They did come out okay. It's still a very loose painting style, which is what they wanted. So I think now I could probably. Is it supposed to 
supposed to have the knot work and the rope in here. There's no way I'm gonna get this rope to look realistic on this bottle, but I don't want to repeat the pink. Black will be too much. See. See, then I'll be able to, once this dries, I take just a little bit more white and I'll be able to just highlight and make these petals bounce just a little bit more. Uh, a little more coffee, just a second. I have to work all night yet. Alrighty. Wow. I was testing red would have been too red. Oh, uh, let's see. Um. Well, if I do that, that. A little bit of white. Looks like I'd blend in some of the pink in there. I don't want to mix that paint up with the other one. Okay. Yeah, he's done grooming himself over there. Sleepy board cat. Get those out of the way so I don't accidentally mix things with them. All right. So, I already got at least the line work done. So the fl the rope, I'm gonna have to do a section at a time, I think. Figure out which direction it's going to lay down, stuff like that. All right. Let's see if I can get a color I'm happy with here. So the real hard part is the fact that I can't blend right onto the bottle. That one is going to work. I was looking at my mom, some of my mom's older pieces while I was at her house yesterday. That might have me a bit down too, is you know, the 29 year old horse is uh, he's having problems starting to have issues walking and stuff and he's just a very very old animal and it's the last horse that we have I was left over from the days of showing and having 37 head of animals horses on the farm and now city ordinances are in that uh, can't have horses there anymore. And so it's just kind of made it harder. But then I was in the barn and of course having trouble breathing now because I'm allergic to horses. 
<laughs> and the dust in the riding arena and stuff and it just kind of all gets to me every time I go out there so breathing today kind of hurts but I did get a get a video of the old guy and have have that up on my channel right now and he's still as old as he is he still is his coats like just absolute silk she takes some really amazing care of her animals and always has We used to do feeding programs for um, developing uh, feed programs for other people's horses and stuff and uh, did a lot of showing and breeding and boarding horses and teaching riding and it was just a lot. Let me get some of the highlight in here. This isn't the best light, and I really apologize for this. Let's there, so you guys can at least see what I'm doing. I want to get the light, the white into the rope too, so it looks more like wedding and not cowboy as much as possible. Plus, this is going to be over top of this portion, so this has to stand out a little bit more anyway. be working on the angel painting but right now I'm not feeling I I don't have an idea for it right now and I think it's just because I'm a little down so I figured I'd get this work done yeah my video is going to be backwards uh it's the phone I don't know how to how to do anything about it heavy I tried to fix that last time and it turned everything upside down instead I need to get a dedicated camera, but hubby needs a new computer before I do that. So it is what it is. Just like if, if I get a phone call, the video is going to cut out. Oh. Okay. I got to make sure I don't put my hand down there, <laughs> down the neck here and then end up with paint all over me and off the bottle. Yeah, it does take a good video. It's just everything's backwards. And, you know, well, I'm, you know, you guys are seeing it all backwards. Oh, I like that rope, though. That looks really nice. Let's see if I can repeat it. Okay, so... That way, that way. Make sure that the rope flows the right direction. There's a lot of people on Pinterest that do the love knot or the sailor's knot type thing for their weddings, so that's where this came from. Yeah, the blue was just there to give me, it was a guideline so I could see where everything was. Then they got um, 
they got uh, Stoppers, both soap dispenser and olive oil dispensers for the bottles. And these are door prizes at the shower. So they'll get a full set that they can have soap or olive oil in it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Heavy. I'm, I'm painting at weird angles. <laughs> Yeah, I'm used to painting on squirming kids. So my hands my hands are actually fairly steady, which surprises me today. Some days I I can't get this going for the life of me. change the angle of the highlight just a little bit. Okay, that actually looks pretty decent. Let's see if I can get this light is just until until the sun goes away from this side of the house a bit. But you can kind of see. Just there we go. It's a little better. All right. Then I gotta do the other side. More coffee. <laughs> And I have, let's see if I can angle this. I have two dragons watching me over there. And of course, some of my LON Wild Dolls and Blythe today. And But yeah, there's the two dragons. The one staring directly at us, that's Cecilia. And she's, she's uh, turning out pretty decent. I have her in another video. I've been working on her body, so she should be pretty good after a bit. But she's quite a bit bigger than Cecil is. So we've determined that's Mama. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks, Gardner. All right. Now... tricky part is I'm going to have to go around I think all the way and then come this way before I do the rest of the rope so that I make sure that I get the, the direction of the fibers the same all the way. I think that's what I'm going to do is just make sure where I have the fibers at. Oh. It's not a single. That's right. It's two ropes. Okay. think yeah it is two ropes that pedal's gonna be over top there so 
This one is a lot, a lot more work than the other bottles. Okay, that way wrapped around. Here we go. I got it. I got it. Give myself the baseline work. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, I can't tell you how many lariats I've drawn on saddles and things like that over the years. Oh my god. Lots of rope designs. What's really funny is I'm surprised I have this steady of a hand considering I'm painting sideways. I can't exactly see what I'm doing. Oh, switch music. Alrighty, what else have we got? Try that one. There. There we go. Part of why I'm doing doing this right now instead of the leaves is uh, that I can uh, make sure that the flowers dry enough to work around them. Okay. Oh, I almost bumped the whole bottle. That would have been messy. Um, there's actually birds in, not only your parrots in Minecraft there, but there's birds on the Celtic music I just picked. So yes, you are hearing birds.
I've been playing Life in the Woods because I know we're going to, I had talked to Paranor and I know we're going to be uh, doing some changes once we get the next update in Minecraft, get the water update. So I've been just basically doing Life in the Woods and a little bit of prep work in Dragon Coast, but not a whole lot. I had time to play play games this weekend, but before that, not really. Okay. This rope is going to take a while. Yeah, I, I had too. I've been, uh, like today, I was doing a lot of wood harvesting in Life in the Woods, and I spent several episodes of Life in the Woods um, on my channel here, uh, wandering and exploring, which was a lot of fun. I love doing that. But that meant coming home, sorting, uh, sorting my finds, my little discoveries that I packed up with me, and now it's growing and harvesting lumber. I need to build my base. But life in the woods does not like to live stream. It likes to cut out my microphone so I can record, but oh, hi, Brian. Yeah, I can do regular recording on Life in the Woods, just not not actual live streaming so having you know a couple hour live streams isn't going to work so good for me but whoops careful feather here we go Okay, I'm gonna set that down for a minute and stop staring at it. <laughs> I swear that'll make your eyeballs cross. Yeah, I would love to see you do stuff in SL Heavy. I had to quit for a while because 
I just didn't have the time to keep up with it, so I closed my shops in SL and because I had them all in the fish hunt headquarters. I had two shops and I was doing pretty good, but it just more effort than I had time. Yeah, it is. Um, I have, uh, like I said, the one I really like to watch is Yvonne Williams. And I'm really thinking I should do a recording um, where I do shout outs to my favorite crafting channels because I've got several. I watched one lady today that did a wire wrapped goldfish on a cabochon about, you know, that big around where the hole in my between my fingers there um that didn't have any holes in it so she wire wrapped the whole thing and made it with copper wire made it look like a realistic goldfish it was amazing what she did with that it was so gorgeous so i have several channels like that that i really should do just a video of um of their work because it's just fantastic. Yeah, Yvonne Williams. Yeah, I forgot. Back to Earth Creations. That's her, her company. And she paints her own dragon eyes, um, does resin work, polymer clay, leather, chain mail. I mean, uh, just about anything. A lot of cosplay work, a lot of Renaissance festivals. Yep, Nadine, and then I watch several other ones like Doll Lightful is another one that I watch, and Lovely For You, and they're Lovely For You sculpts dolls in uh, air dry clay, and they're just gorgeous. And then uh, Doll Lightful redoes Monster High dolls, where they don't look like Monster High when she gets done with them, and there's several people out there. I just love watching them. I, I haven't, I've seen one poor painting project yet, and I don't know, it's, for me it would be like a, one more thing I gotta learn how to do, so it's like I'm kind of holding back watching them, like doing those diamond dots too, I, I'm holding back from watching those because I just know that it would be one more thing that I want to try to do, and yeah, that's just not not in the cards for me because I have enough that I'm doing. It's like, I want to do all these things, you know. Okay, let's put a little bit. We need to differentiate this from the one below it. I'm still on, on the camera, okay. All right. Okay, so now. I should have photographed some of my mom's paintings yesterday when I was over there. She's got some, she used to do nothing but Western art and cowboy paintings and stuff and uh, She's got some really beautiful paintings. I gotta figure out how I'm twisting this around this is going to go over top of, you know, this one going underneath. And then it slips underneath again on the other side. So yeah, this is, this is a tricky part right here. There we go.
One of my favorite gaming stuff to watch is Minecraft. So I I watch a lot of Minecraft videos too. I have favorite builders and stuff that I like, prefer to watch. I do watch some of Shanny's when she's doing some of her gaming because it's kind of, you know, I have, I have a few of those games and I haven't played them yet. All right. <laughs> that can be tricky. Now I got to do that piece sneaking out of here and then I can start working on the rest of the rope. I love oil painting. Yeah. Um, and oils are more expensive to begin with, especially nowadays, the cost has gone up significantly. And, um, you know, they're a different beast compared to acrylics. Uh, I'm starting to be able to get the translucency in acrylics and, um, uh, the one artist that does the big fairy art, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, has helped me out with that. Um, she actually, you know, her and I have emailed back and forth. I did a drawing of her and her cat together um, and gave it to her. But, um, yeah, they work so differently. And then these paints work different yet. These are closer to face paints. Although I think I can get better blending with face paints than I do these. Uh, the knots come in there. Yeah, gaming does keep her out of trouble. Yeah. And she probably have a, a bigger fan base eventually, not right away, you know, just doing gaming and that's... I'm hoping someday to have a bigger fan base. <laughs> I'm only at 415 subscribers right now. Hopefully someday that will change. Okay, I didn't quite want to do what I'm going to have to do here, I think. Let's get the black out. I need just... A smidgen more of shading than oh don't bump that good grief a smidgen more of shading than I initially had there so I got to get just a teensy bit more depth inside the rope here and three colors is just not enough Just a hint to add that little bit more depth in there. There. Okay. Oh, that that's standing out so much nicer. Okay. Now, same over here. Just to make that interior piece stick out a little bit, where it just, I shouldn't say stick it out at this point, it's, it's uh, hiding it inside, giving it a, quite a bit more depth than it originally had. There. Okay, where's my towel? Okay. 
Oh, get my long hair out of there. <laughs> yeah, seven colors plus three toners. Yeah. Oh, cool. So you live nearby the nearby uh, the lake itself then, right? I used to love being able to go out on the pier and I, it, the boats coming in would just make me cry. It was just, I don't know what it was. It was just so incredibly beautiful. You know, be out by the lift bridge and then out on the pier itself. And oh my gosh, I could sit and watch those ships come in for hours on Lake Superior. My ex still lives up there. Superior is such a beautiful place. The lake itself, I mean. Superior, Wisconsin, it wasn't... I. It was, it was a city, you know. Doggone it. Everything's running together. Um, but the lake itself... And, I mean, you really think about it. That thing is an inland sea. It is not a lake. It is so massive. It, Lake Superior is an ocean in itself, practically. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, Brian, this is uh, Deco Art Gloss Enamels, and they're multi-surface acrylic paint. And... Um, it uh, ends up after you bake it on glass and ceramics, uh, it can be dishwasher safe. So um, it's gonna show up backwards on my camera, I apologize, but it's Deco Art Americana Gloss Enamels. And um, you let it cure for four days and, at least, and then you um, go and put the uh, glass or ceramic in a cold oven and then he, heat the oven up to 325, bake it for a half hour, and then let the oven cool completely down and the glass cool completely down. You take it out and it can go in the dishwasher after that. And you can, you know, use it like everyday wear. This is non-toxic, but they still don't recommend that you do it on the surface that's going to be contacting food. So the insides of plates, you know, they don't recommend that. But um, I've fired several bottles and it, what's really nice, it doesn't need a kiln. You just fire it in your kitchen and it's awesome. And this product has had so many good reviews Martha Stewart's got a similar one, but I don't promote Martha Stewart, you know. And this one, they've got videos on using it and doing different painting techniques and stuff, and it's just really, really a nice product. And I got it on Amazon. I got... One, two, three, four, five, six. I got 12 colors for 46 bucks and I have painted a lot of these. Yeah, for it's it's anywhere from 6 to 8 dollars per bottle, but I bought them in a um two sets of 6. And they just it is such nice paint and this is lasting me a really long time. Sorry, going a little off camera again, but I got to see a little bit of what I'm doing. Just 
And then we're going to go into lighter shades here because we're away from the knot itself. Yeah, I tried to get... Um, I, I've decided I'm at least trying to stay even keel in the middle with uh, with some of the people who've been having so much of the drama on on YouTube and especially after Jade's death it's like you know just kind of there's enough stress in life so reaching out to g-man and hopefully someday he's going to listen to he is listening a little bit but he still gets to be himself you know and it is what it is and shanny too you know just had to decide that i needed to take a step back and just I don't want to be stressed. I don't want any of that. I'm just going to go and do my own thing and get paint on the wrong spot of the bottle. <laughs> just, you know, enjoy life and When they just if they you know people decide that they're going to snark off at each other and get angry and have all these infights and everything well then i just step away again but i did tell g-man that he needs to kind of offer the olive branch to uh drag knot and um you know not you know, he, he claims he apologized to drag for some things, and I hope that that was the truth. But um, I said, you know, you, a drag's going to stop if you stop, and it's taken the two of you to tango, and you're both doing a good job of it, and he's not going to let go if you don't stop, you know, kind of acting like a turd. And so I just laid it out to him honestly on the phone. And so I'm hoping, oh, come on, ah, there went the tablet or the laptop. Come on. I'm still here, but I can't see you guys. I let it go to screensaver, doggone it. Yeah, bugger. There. Yeah, only the chat got disconnected. Yeah, I haven't tried the model enamels yet. Oh yeah, <laughs> Paranor was saying that he he hadn't heard from you, so he was he was a little concerned. I'm like, well, Discord is, you know, something new for us, so I ran into the same thing. I keep forgetting about it, you know. I even I know people are gonna be perturbed at me, but I even reached out to Vaughn again and tried to, you know, just at least see how he and the kids were doing. Especially since his littlest had a birthday recently and stuff and and uh Vaughn uh disappeared again or blocked me or something, so I don't know what went on there. I was like I just kinda you know, I try to hope for the best for people and that things are going to right themselves, but all you can do is just sit and wait and see. 
and take care of your own life in the meantime, you know. That's coming out. Oh, there I go painting off camera again. I apologize. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can hear you now. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I like drag a lot too, but there's so much drama. And yeah, it's just so much drama. Model enamel stuff like red that have a secondary translucency and or flake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you know, I, I'm, I hope he, he, you know, learns. I think he's got a lot of issues and stuff emotionally, mentally, you know, but I just wanted to see what was going on and how he was doing, but he, uh, I made the mistake. I like Grampy Lobster, too, and Grampy and Vaughn always kind of get into it, and there was this massive hangout, I guess, where they really got into it, and Blue was on there, too, and really got into it, and after that, you know, I was in the chat. I had just come in because I was at work, had no clue what was going on. I thought they had a video of Vaughn. I didn't realize he was on live because i hadn't seen him for you know so long and it was like the next day i tried to give him a message and i was blocked on everything facebook everything so i don't know if he just quit or if i actually did just get blocked i was like well you know it is what it is Because Grampy's kind of crazy, and he's an ornery old fart, but I, I like him, you know, and it's, I should be able to like multiple people, and I don't have to be on the same side of the fence as everybody, you know. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh, I'm like, well, that's fun. Awesome. I was saying, saying I'm confused and have no idea what's going on, and and then I uh, get blocked for it. Like, okay, I'm, yeah, all right. But it was a heated argument again over Sandy Hook, and he's a denier of Sandy Hook being a real thing, which he was citing evidence. He thinks that all these conspiracy theories are true about it, but yet he also thinks that Alex Jones is a fraud, but yes, most of those conspiracy theories come from Alex Jones. And Alex Jones started a lot of that stuff and started getting where like Lenny Posner, whose son died in Sandy Hook and stuff, there's people harassing him left, right, and sideways. So Blue is with a group of people that's fighting that, and rightfully so. But all I did was point out in the chat when that came up right before Vaughn went off of there is I said, hey, Vaughn, Alex Jones came up with all these theories that you're spouting here. They're not true. So I imagine he thinks at that point that I'm, I'm a troll or whatever. But it's like, take a look at the source, dude. You're being conned. Oh, okay. I got to set that down a minute. Truth or girls? Oh, thanks, Heavy. Yeah, 
Well, Vaughn doesn't like Alex either. He thinks that Alex Jones is a fraud for conspiracy theory reasons, not for the fact that the guy's just a fraud. Um, but uh, then he goes and he cites things that Alex was the source of. And I just, it's like, oh, come on. You know, the face palm is so hard that it hurts, you know. And it's just if he realized the truth of it that, yeah, kids died. Kids died in fear and horribly. And what if that were his children and somebody turned around and tried to say that it never happened to his kids? How would he feel? You know, and that was another thing I had said. So that's probably what got me blocked as a troll, I imagine. I don't know. He might not have blocked me. He just might have quit some of the services he was on. So I don't know. Yeah. No, they don't think about what the families go through. And, you know, I guess some of it I see things differently because I see, you know, so many sick kids, but like even a kid that we knew here where we live um, got shot and killed not that far away from the house. And it was somebody that my husband had made friends with. He'd see him every day as my husband was going to work in his, in his Domino's pizza uniform and um, a kid would talk to him every day and call him pizza man and all of this. And suddenly the kid was gone and we hadn't been in this house very long. And that just hurt my husband so bad is to see this 15 year old boy die, you know. And then we had one get gunned down in the alley behind our house and then there was another time I witnessed a kid's body being taken out of the house behind us uh, I went out to take out recycling and here's the EMTs pulling a body bag out of the garage where the girl had hung herself and it's like this stuff really does happen and I guess it must be the Libra in me or something where I'm trying to reach out to people like g-man and stuff like that and say hey guys think and i know g-man is hurt by the fact that he didn't get to say things to jade that he wanted to say yeah uh, the flat earth thing is insane but anyway with with jade dying you know g-man actually has was hurt by it and it's like yeah so don't make the same mistake with dragnaut or with anybody else oh sir meows a lot the cat is back in my yard again he just squirted my car okay <laughs> we have this tomcat out there that he meows a lot so that's sir meows a lot he walks by you and talks constantly and my car gets marked every day. No, so my hope, my hope, you know, besides being for the balance and for, you know, everybody getting together and realizing where the real problems are. And yeah, you know, some people might want to call them the elites and stuff like that. I believe in that to an extent. We do have people that are controlling the economy and controlling education and controlling all of that. And the only way that we're going to be able to combat the problems as a nation is if we can get together and, you know, actually work together. And realize that everybody makes mistakes and, you know, maybe we can work together to heal ourselves and heal, heal our communities and everything. And so that, you know, it's, maybe it's just I'm an idealist. I don't know.
Okay. I think I'm running to where I can't see anymore. <laughs> My eyes are just not focusing. <laughs> I got quite a bit done. I got the flowers fixed. The rope is started. This is going to look really nice when I get the greenery in here. Yeah, I think this is going to work out. And I'll take a little more white once this is dry and do just another layer of light brushing to to get um, the color to, you know, be a little bit more white. But the purple's gone, so that helps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I think yeah, Jade was was really some something special. Yeah, the people in control are happy that we're divided and until we can figure out how to fix things, it's going to be a continuous problem. Yeah, my husband has to wear a visor too to do the chain mail. That's exactly it, Heavy. That's why I face paint for free at Pagan Pride, which again is September 8th this year at Minnehaha Falls. And it doesn't matter if people are part of the event or not. I get a line of kids. I I think the younger generations is, is how we can fix things. And if we can reach out to, you know, try and, and get the younger set to see that, you know, doing good for each other is a good thing, you know. Oh, that's cool, Heavy. I joined an atheist group here that gets things together for monthly giveaways of clothing, canned goods, etc. <laughs> I'm very much a kid person, so that's easy for me. But, you know, also, I don't, because of, even though Salvation Army helped me when I was little, they've had so much problems that instead my husband and I donate to the food shelves, you know, and do that, you know, because that's free and people can just walk in and, uh, you know, get what they need. And... So the food shelf is a big one for me because I've had to rely on them a number of times as well. And, uh, yeah, it's just try to change the world from our little corners, you know. And that's, that's part of why I think my channel's going that way too is just to be a peaceful, happy place and heck with it. <laughs> Make beauty if I can. <laughs> <laughs> and it satisfies my need to create things. <laughs> yeah. And that's what last year, I think it was last year or the year before, somebody set out near their dumpster a whole bunch of um, the uh, cots for daycare. And they were all really, really nice. And they were all clean and everything. So I got them to one family who brought them to their church because their church needed them for their daycare. They were all free, you know, and it was 12 of them. I just loaded them up in my car. <laughs> and, you know, just those tiny little things like that. I've been getting better, I think, heavy. I being on camera, I think it's really helped quite a bit and it's, it's helped me actually focus and instead of sitting and, and hiding in a computer game, it's, it's making me get out and actually do things. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call it.
I'm gonna try to suck down some more caffeine and work on a dragon tonight before I go to work, I think. Plus, I gotta work out. So, might not get that much done even, because 